Hi guys, welcome to Robin's Recipe Remix. Today we are going to be making something so luscious. It is going to be chicken pot pie. Now, today the recipe is courtesy of Ian Garden Gardner. Is that how you say Ina it? Ina Garten. Thank you. This is her recipe, but I'm going to be remixing it be Trim Healthy Mama. Now most people on Trim Healthy Mama think you can't have it for a couple reasons. Because it's in a pie shell, because it has carrots, because it has cream. But those things are not true. I'm going to show you how you can have all this. Now this is going to be an S meal. I really want to let you all know this is something that a busy mom can make in the middle of the week within an hour, probably even a half an hour. So let's get to it. I'm going to get things prepared. I'll welcome you back and we'll get cooking. Okay guys, let's get down to cooking. Trinity is normally celery, onions, and carrots, but we're remixing it. We're making a Trim Healthy Mama. Today, our remix Butternut squash. Bought these at Walmart. Now, if you can't find these already chopped up, just buy a butternut squash. No big deal. So, I already have some cut up, as you can see. What we're going to do here is take our celery. Just give it, just get the ends off. No big deal. And what we're going to do is we're going to get this all ready to put in our pot. Olive oil, of course. Let's get some olive oil in my pan. There we go. Let's get these beauties cut up. Oh, you can smell this hard uh, celery. It smells so wonderful. Um, now, usually celery has a little bit of leafy greens on the top, but they don't on this one. But normally it's full of flavor. So let's get this in that wonderful bubbly bath. Oh, you can hear that sear. That's wonderful. Now just let me quickly show you. If you get your butternut squash like this, what I just do is, because it's kind of small, but it is actually kind of big. Let me just throw these in here while we're waiting. It is small, but it is kind of big too if you want to cook it quick. Just cut it in half, you know, and then just in your pot just just to help you cook it a little quicker now my onion I'm not very good at cutting onions I'm not gonna lie <laughs> that is my uh, downfall so I'm just gonna do it how I would think I would my husband hates looking at me cutting onions because he's terrified I'm gonna cut my fingers and in past I've been known to do that Okay, let's give this a rough chop. Now you gotta remember this is gonna cook down too. So they don't have to be perfect. Just you know a nice rough chop just to get them cooking because you're gonna sweat these babies out anyway. So they're gonna cook down half an onion. Now I'm gonna list this. I'm gonna send the link to Ina's recipe. Now, I'm only having this because it's just my husband and I, but she has a nice full recipe for a large family where it's only just two of us. Now, I want to mention layering salt and pepper. Every time you put something in the pan, you want to put salt. It's called layering. So, not a lot because every time you add something, you're going to need more salt and pepper. So we got our salt, our pepper. Now you can use any spice you want. I'm partial to summer savory. Now most people down here use sage. Summer savory is a Canadian thing. It's not generally very popular down here. I love summer savory. Um, you want to go ahead and put this in while your pot's hot. And I'm also gonna, I learned this actually. Your herbs usually go to sleep when they're dried out so a trick to doing this is just giving it a rub before you put it in the pan and that sort of wakes it up I said that in one of my other videos but that's really the best way to describe it is by waking it up 
and um, and the sage has a flavor of Thanksgiving, not sage, excuse me, summer savory. That tastes very much like Thanksgiving in your pot. Now I'm going to say this is going to have to cook probably 10 minutes to sweat these out. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to sweat these out, and when I come back, I'm going to show you how we do the creams and the meat. We'll talk about that. So give me a few minutes, and when I get back, we'll carry on. Thank you. Hi guys, welcome back. Come take a look at this. You do not want to skimp on the time that it takes to get your onions translucent, build up all these nice flavors. Take your time, cook it. That's where all your flavors, your profile. Now we're ready to throw chicken in. Now chicken. I have a piece of cooked barbecue chicken. My husband barbecued it. Now for chicken, you can coat your own chicken and whatever flavor you want, salt, pepper, bay leaves, throw in some rosemary, whatever flavor you want. You can use, which is very common, which is very helpful for mothers, rotisserie chicken. You don't know what to do with the chicken? Go pick up a chicken, come home, whip this together, and you have a beautiful chicken pot pie. But I have this already cooked, so this is what I'm gonna go ahead and use it. And what I'm gonna do is, you know, I like it shredded, but you know what? This is already cooked, so you don't have to worry about contamination. Um, I'm going to use my food chopper because it's much, much easier. Just give me a sec. Now your vegetables can continue to cook. It'll only just enhance the flavor. It's not gonna hurt them. Oopsie-daisy. Okay, here's my little doodad. Actually, we'll do it this way because I don't have a really big cord here. Let's pull her over here. Now, I'm cutting it up because it's a small food processor, but if you have a large one, you don't really need to cut it up. I just did because, well, my food processor is really small, so I cut it up. Okay. Now, my food processor says chop or grind. I realize I don't generally want to grind in here. I want to chop. So let's see how she does. And I tend to pulse so it doesn't go mushy. There we go. She's coming. Now, I do have a little fella that wanted to be a little tricky. So I'm going to take him and I'm going to pull him out and I'm just going to quickly pause. And you can see how nice and fine that is, but you can also shred it, especially if you buy um, a chicken, it's just, it's so easy to shred. This just happened to be what I had and work with what you have. It's not, um, there's no hard and fast rule as far as with chicken, how you cut it, how you use it. It's no hard and fast rule. Now look guys, we are almost done. How great is that? We are almost done. Now, we are going to add flavor to this again. Layering, as I talk about it. We're going to add salt and pepper again. Because we're layering. That's what we're doing. And always, please, make sure, try your food. Make sure, you know, there's enough seasoning to, to your liking. Salt and pepper, you know what? Even if you don't have, you know, a lot of other seasonings and things, if you have salt and pepper, it'll be good. Salt and pepper is like the quintessential for cooking. Just salt and pepper. Oops. Mmm. That is absolutely delicious. I do not need any more um, seasoning right now. Okay, let's go over here. We are going to, now this is only half a recipe. 
I'm not doing the full recipe. So, this is what Churn Healthy Mama uses. How do you pronounce that? Xanthan gum. That's right. Thickener. But I have never used this. So this is my cheat, cornstarch. And I'm not using chicken stock. Well, this is chicken paste, which is far more concentrated and has far more flavor. So what I'm doing, I'm using three, two, well, two cups of water. Just give me a sec. Two cups of water. Now, I like it hot, especially if I'm going to be putting it directly in something. So let's get that hot. Let's just make sure that we know that the remix in here was butternut squash, not carrots. This looks so good. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm going to take just a little bit. I just take a tiny bit of water out of the sink. I just say just a quarter cup, not much. What I'm going to add is about a nice, a nice tablespoon, give or take, to my quarter cup. The secret, no lumps, no bumps, okay? Now, I'm using frozen peas. Once we put the water in, which is, which would be considered our chicken stock because now we're going to put our chicken um, paste. It's called Better Than Bouillon. I buy it at Walmart. You know, I don't really know how much to use. I kind of go by taste. Let's say a, a nice tablespoon. What we're going to do is we're going to mix this around. Now this is where we do all our wet stuff. So we got our chicken stock, which is what it calls for, but not as much as I have. Here goes our chicken stock. You get a little bit of the paste left, but that's not a big deal. Just scoop it out. You can see here, mmm, smells delicious. Okay, it calls for cream. Now, I'm not doing the full recipe. I'm doing half for me and my husband. I'm doing a cup of cream. Now, this is where it makes it scrumptious and yum and it gives it that beautiful silky wonderful texture it just tastes divine when you do that now let this cook for a minute or so now now that it's in there let's talk about peas peas go in last frozen peas if you put them in with your other vegetables, these will go to mush. Wait till you get your liquids in, you get your um, meat in, these go in last. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna thicken this up now actually, and then we'll put our peas in. So let me get this high. You can see here, there is no lumps. It looks like milk. This is about a quarter cup um, for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this in half of it at a time. And this should start to thicken up because you want it nice and thick because you're having this with biscuits. And this too is also going to give a little bit of water um, as you cook it. Now this needs to come to a boil. This shouldn't take long. Um, let this come to a boil. I'll come back. I will finish off and I'll show you how we use the peas. Hi guys, welcome back. Come take a look at this. You can see it's thick, but it's not uber thick. But you can decide how thick or how thin you want it. This for me is nice. Now remember, now is when we add our peas. So this is also going to absorb some of the liquid. See? Immediately you can see. Now, this is a 12 ounce bag, but you know what? 
you can use as much as you want. I know Ina has a certain amount, but I'm just eyeballing it. it it's personally up to you what you want. So now, these are in. Let's see how we are for taste. No salt needed. Because you have to remember, that chicken paste has salt in it. And this is perfect. Now, I'm going to let this just cook for a few, just a couple minutes. To let the peas just, just soak in this bath and add a little bit of flavor. When we come back, I'm going to show you the remix part, which is so cool. Which is going to be in place of regular biscuits so come back with me cook your sauce down a little bit with your peas and then when you come back we will discuss the biscuit part hey guys in about 20 minutes you have a beautiful base for a chicken pot pie now let's get over here for our remix most people acquaint biscuits with chicken pot pie and you think you can't have them but my husband came up with a really great idea for biscuits this is all on him so what you're going to do is you're going to melt now this is four times that you can do it as many times as you want this is four times one stick of butter okay and you're going to melt it four eggs you're going to beat that up good before you melt it in with your butter just give it just give it a little good beat and then what you're going to do is you want to beat this really good in with your butter before you put your other things. Just, you know, just pretend you're taking out your aggressions on this. There we go. Okay. So, now of course, because I'm a big, oh, that was messy on my part. Excuse me. Um, salt, pepper, and I think, and you know what's really great about this? You can add any seasoning you want to this. I cooked with summer savory. You can use any herb you like. I'm using salt and pepper because there's a lot of flavor in that. Now, this is the Trim Healthy Mama Flour Blend in place of normal flour. So you're going to add one cup, but it's not one solid cup. Come look at this. Like this is not packed. This is just, just a nice cup. So what you're going to do is you're going to put this in and it's two teaspoons of baking powder. This is what gives you your rise. And in a lot of Trim Healthy Mama recipes, they use baking powder. That's what gives you the rise. Do not use added baking powder to think you're going to get a better rise. It's not going to happen. Um, and we're going to quickly stir it and get it well mixed. Here. Oh, this looks lovely and it's going to look nice and yellow because of all those wonderful eggs. It's going to be wonderfully rich. Now we're ready to add to our casserole guys. This is the best part. Now let me make a quick note to you guys. This only takes five minutes to cook in the oven. So make sure you can make this the night before or make it, but make sure it's super hot or as hot as you like before you put your biscuits on. This will only take five minutes. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drop our biscuits along here. Oh, this looks so good. There we go. And as you can see, you know, you can spread them out as much as you little as you want. I love biscuits. So for me, this is like, can you really ever have too many biscuits? when you're having like a shepherd's pie or a chicken pot pie, you know, you really can't have too many. So we are coming to the end of our dish and I'm scraping out the bottom. I think I used a little too much in my scoop. So here we go. This was our cheat, our biscuits. Remix. Our remix. Thank you. This is our remix. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this in the oven for five minutes, preheat it to 350, and when we come out, I'm going to show you how delicious this looks. Catch you in a minute. Guys, this is our recipe remix. 
beautiful chicken pot pie. You can see how the biscuits spread out, how they raised up. Fabulous. Now, I just want to make a quick note. In Ina's recipe, she uses heavy cream. That's how she gets her thickener. So, if you don't want to use um, the heavy cream, I would suggest using a thickener. Now, also, I wanted to mention that this is an easy, healthy, quick meal that you can have any night of the week. So thank you for joining me on Robin's Recipe Remix. I hope you will try this sometime. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful night.